It is early May of 2025. In fact, today, today is the official 10-year anniversary of this channel. More to come on that later. We're getting some new updates about the Yezu FT1X, FTX1F, the newest QRP or not QRP radio from Yezu that I'm hoping we're going to see in a couple weeks at Hamvention, but that is still unknown. Check this out. Today's video is sponsored by Ham Radio Prep. Save a 20% discount off of all of their items with the coupon code of Jason20, link in the description below. So this was shared with me yesterday, and I got permission to share it with you guys. This is not super secret information. Uh, some of the dealers got this paperwork, and uh, some of the dealer prices stripped out of it, as you would expect which is totally cool. I appreciate the individual who shared this with me. So we've got an FTX1 and an XF, I'm sorry, an FTX1 Optima and an FTX1 Field Radio at the top of this sheet here. Now these list prices, don't let that scare you. List prices is always like MSRP, what the manufacturer thinks that we should, that they should be selling those for. This list price will not be the final retail price. In fact, if you recall correctly, when the FT710, no, well, that one too. When the FT710 and the FT510 were introduced, were announced, and then those three VHF, UHF radios, they had two different VHF monoband radios, one at 65 and one at 85 watts, I think, and then they had that um, FTM150 RASP, which is right sitting right behind me right there. right by, You can't see it in the camera, but it's... When those three... VHF mobile radios were rele were announced and the FTM 510 was announced. The price announced for those was much higher than what the price actually was when the radio dropped. So, again, don't let this scare you. I don't think this is going to be actually $2,400.1750, but that is what the list price is for these. And I'm going to show you a couple of different pictures here in a second. Okay, accessories for the field head. They've got a 6,400 milliamp hour lithium-ion battery pack. Supplied with radio package. That's cool. They've got a 10-watt automatic tuner. An FT, FC90 and FC80. Two different 10-watt. Okay, for uh, this one, this one is available for long wire, a 50-ohm antenna. Okay, two different types of tuners. They've got them both listed at the same price. A cooling fan. Okay, good. Automatic and uh, tuning antenna an ATU, and the ATOS 120A. There's been some speculation about whether this new FTX, FTX, gosh, I keep saying it wrong, FTX1F will work with the ATOS. A lot of the comments said, well, it won't work with the ATOS, so I'm not, I, I don't care to get it. And I'm like, I'm not sure where you're getting that. I've not heard confirmed reports about whether it will work with the ATOS or not. I'm not saying it will, I'm not saying it won't. What I'm saying is I have not heard one way or the other. I've invited John Crook onto the channel to discuss some of the comments I've been getting on those last couple videos I posted. He declined simply because we're coming up to Hamvention. He's really busy right now. So I'm going to corner him at Hamvention. I'm going to corner him at Hamvention and put a camera in his face and say, answer these questions for me. <laughs> so I'll probably have to take him a couple of cigars. That's okay. I can do that. I, I have no problem doing that. So ATOS 120A, ATOS uh, ATBK100 is an antenna base kit for the ATOS 120. ATOS 25, active tuning antenna manual. FC40, automatic antenna tuner for long wire. And a FG... PS5, a GPS unit. Okay, it's an add-on GPS unit. Okay, that makes sense. Power amplifier. Now, we've seen some videos about this. Uh, I think Josh did a video about uh, the FCC listing for uh, FCC approval for this. The SP1A 100-watt power amplifier supplied with the Optima. Okay, so supplied with the Optima. I think we're going <laughs> to... So with, this actually came up in speculation on one of the videos I did with John. Here is some pictures right here, and if you get this right here, and I'm going to zoom in on that, look at this one on the right. The one on the left is the FTX1 field radio. Now, the F, the original model number we got was FTX1F. This could be FTX1F, F is in field, 10 watt, HF, 6 meter, 4 meter uh, for European stations, 2 meter, 70 centimeter, SDR, okay? The one on the right, the FTX1 
Optima, so the FTX10 is a 100 watt version where you snap the face onto the front of a 100 watt power amplifier. This is the exact same thing we talked about speculation on the when I had John in the channel and at the end of the live stream we were talking about the FTM150, the new dual band radio that is full duplex. He he said at the end of the live stream he's like, "Okay, let's ask him hard questions. Let's go. On. Come on." He he wanted the challenge, which is cool, which is the cool thing about John. You know, if he if he can't answer something, he'll say that, but if he he can't answer it. He he will. So this is what I was like. It would be cool if you were able to take the face of that 10-watt QRP radio and attach it to a 100-watt amplifier. That's what this looks like to me. It's exactly what this looks like to me. And I know he doesn't like speculation, but hey, you know what? Don't put a picture up of something. Again, those prices down at the bottom are euros. You guys can see that right there. 1599 euros for the field model, 2069 euros for the 100-watt model. But that's the SPA 100 watt amplifier. It's $800 by itself. Again, it, it is supplied with the Optima. So probably, so the question will be, will the FTX 1F, the field radio, plus the amplifier, be a greater price than just buying the Optima package? And I suspect it will. I suspect if you buy the Optima package, you'll, you'll be able to save a little bit of money that way. We'll see. A 25 amp and a 23 amp power supply. Bluetooth unit. So be able to add Bluetooth to it. Bluetooth headset, side carry handle, protection guard, reference microphone. Move that up there. Dual element microphone, desktop dynamic microphone, typical uh, Yezu microphone model numbers here. M100, M90D, M90, MS kit. Dynamic microphone stand kit. The M70 desktop microphone, the SSM75M hand mic and the YH77STA lightweight stereo headphone. Nothing in here about a Wi-Fi unit, so another one of the questions that came up on the channel was, will the unit, will the FTX1F radio have Wi-Fi enabled? I, I kind of don't understand why it wouldn't, being that it's so new. Here's, some, uh, here's a good picture I've got here. Kyle shared this with some of us on Discord. I don't know where he got it, but... Uh, this is a cool looking thing. But you can see right there behind it, there's the face of the radio. You can see behind it that deck back behind it. So you attach it to that deck and you've got a 100 watt radio just like um, automatically. There's the field, there's the Optima. And the, the message is cut off there, so I can't really see that. Is the field and Optima going to be released at the same time? Okay, it says right here FTX1F field, 10 watt version for field operation, FTX1F Optima. 10 watt field operation and 100 watt base station unit. So in other words, you take the 10 watt head out into the field and do QRP POTA or SOTA. You take, you bring that head back home, plug it into the base station that's sitting on your desk at home. And you've got 100 watts out of your home base antenna. Okay, cool. I like that. That's a good idea. But I'm probably going to carry it to the field anyway. <laughs> I mean, why not? So. More to come on that soon. Hopefully, gosh, hopefully we will see, even if it's under glass, even if it's one of these, we're going to hide it under glass and let you look at it things. Hopefully we'll be able to see this prototype at Dayton Hamvention, which is about a week and a half from the time of this recording. No longer did I finish recording this video that you're watching right now. Then an hour goes by and guess what? I get this email from Gigaparts. Okay, so these are official. We've got an official price. We've got an official everything now. I think that this part's wrong. It says that the FTX1 field is a 6-watt portable transceiver. I think that's wrong. I think that's a gigaparts snafu. I think. I think. Yeah, that, that comes up sometimes. I don't know. Da, 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 da. First batch expected middle to late May. They emailed me because I signed up for their pre-order thingy. I did the uh, $25 deposit, I think it was. But here is the Optima radio we were just talking about. I was just talking about. 100 watts with the... Uh, get out of the way. Stop it. 100 watts with the deck on the back. There, There's a good picture of it right there. Check that out. That is just a thing of beauty. I'm sorry. That just freaking looks cool. I just... I, I like the heck out of that. I really do. So, I would suspect... I don't know, man. We're going to find out. Uh, $18.99 for the Optima, $14.99 for the QRP version, which again, I think is 10 watts, not 6 watts. I think that's a typo right there. That's about in line with where the 705 was when it was new. Uh, I think the 705 is about 
a hundred dollars cheaper than that right now. So people were speculating that the FTX One F, the 10 watt QRP radio, was going to be over two thousand dollars. I didn't think that was right, but no one was really saying anything, uh, you know, with any type of certainty or with any type of authority. Nobody was saying anything. So now we know it's eighteen ninety nine for the hundred watt version, fourteen ninety nine for the QRP version. And as I said a minute ago, assuming that price of $800 is correct to buy the the eight the 100 watt transceiver or I'm sorry, the 100 watt amplifier by itself, then if you spent 1500 on the QRP and 800 on the amplifier, you'd be into it for about 2300 bucks. So it's much cheaper to just buy the package of the Optima than it is the you know the the two pieces separately. So there you go. So Gigaparts reached out because I put a down payment on there. They said, do you want this? I said, yeah, I've ordered the Optima. I asked them point blank. I'm like, are these in stock? When do you expect them to arrive? And he's like, typically when they get those, these emails, when they get the, the go ahead, they say it's either on its way or it might arrive today. So at the time I had spoken to them, they had not arrived yet. They had not arrived yet. So I don't know. But here's the good news. The dealer, most likely... This is a good this is good planning on Yeezy's part. It looks like all the dealers will have them by Hamvention, which is a week and a half from now. It's actually yeah, it's Hamvention starts 2 weeks from yesterday. I leave a week and a half from now, but the actual show starts 2 weeks from yesterday. Of course, the dealers are going to have to have their stock in their possession and ready to be put on the truck to drive or fly to to Hamvention long before Friday <laughs> of the show. So the good news is it looks like the dealers are going to have these um, Gigaparts, uh, HRO, DX Engineering, RNL Electronics. If they're, I don't even know if Rogers going or not this year, but check. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna see this radio at Hamvention. That's my prediction. I don't have any insider information about that, but my prediction is we're gonna see this radio at Hamvention, and this radio is going to be for sale at Hamvention. Or maybe they're all sell out for the pre-orders before that. I don't know. I don't know how many pre-orders each store took. But uh, check out the links in the description below. I'm going to put a link to the Gigaparts page. Okay. I don't... People, they're sending out emails and they're saying, Hey, if you want it, now's the time. If And if not, we're going on to the next person. Which is what... I actually got a call from HRO. To, apparently, I, I did a reservation with HRO also. I don't remember doing that. But I, did, I probably did. And they called me on the phone and they said, Hey... Now's the time. Do you want it? Yes or no? If not, we're going on to the next person, which is what they should do. So um, so maybe some people won't want it because they don't like the price point, and some new people who didn't pre-order it will be able to get it. But uh, more information to come as soon as I get it. Looking forward to this radio. and looking forward to seeing you guys at Hamvention 2025, 73.